Hi, good afternoon, everybody. Can't believe it's a new year and I am so thankful. I think everybody in the world is. Welcome to 2021 to Stir Crazy in the Kitchen with my two pals, Lynn Thielen of Roth Living. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Gab. How are you doing? Well, my partner in crime and gossip and mm -hmm. the star of the show who I have actually even tested some of these recipes along the way. And you're such a star and such a oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> so let me tell you. And, no. you know, just as an aside, people I've known for years who were writers for the Rocky Mountain News and Post and things, food wise, they all remember you too. So yeah. you have fans <laughs> from <laughs> near well. and far, and I guess we can say old and new. New, well, that's yeah. very nice. And it's <laughs> nice to be it's nice to be remembered that way, for right. sure. And you know what, before <laughs> we start, we should say that not only is Stir Crazy in the Kitchen on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, but we have stircrazyinthekitchen.com where all the recipes are each week. I mean, I hope they know that all you have to do is go there, like and subscribe, and you can get recipes with your personal chef cooking for you any day of the week. Right. What are we doing today? Lynn, what are we learning, I guess, from Ben? Ben, what are we learning? We're, we're going to do a really simple, fast side dish that you can make just in a snap, um, sort of a variation on cornbread, but a little more moist. Um, so you can yeah. bake, bake it up really quickly, spoon it up, serve it with any number of things. You could serve it with, you know, a big pot of chili on a cold night, or maybe if you're, uh, if you're roasting some, you know, some pork chops or some chicken breasts, all of those things would be great. This would be a great side dish for any of those things. Obviously, it makes a great leftover as well. You know, it's nothing better than a nice cold, you know, room temperature piece of this kind of slightly spicy, cheesy cornbread. I think you'll really like it. And it's okay, super if easy you to put love together. me, Lynn, I can <laughs> it today because cornbread is one of my favorite things. And yeah. frankly, there's very few people who make it that it's moist. Ooh. All right, we'll have well. to. Certainly not me. <laughs> we'll have to figure out how to get you a little care package over oh, today or tomorrow. Please. I like both of them. I'll, okay. I'll do my best. Okay, <laughs> go, go, chef. All right. So this is such an easy thing to make. Um, you know, you just need some very basic ingredients in your kitchen. You know, a little flour. Um, a good stone ground cornmeal makes a big difference. White or yellow doesn't matter which you prefer. But the better the quality of the cornmeal in this, the better flavor you're going to get. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of diced jalapeno and some cheddar cheese to mine. However, if you want to throw some extras in there, you could brown up some chorizo sausage and mix that into it. You could put some, you know, from some fresh or frozen corn kernels into this as well, just to kind of beef it up a little bit should you choose to. Um, you can add some different chili seasonings if you want, if you want a chili powder, paprika, all those different things you can add to this um, just to give it a little more flavor. But we're going to give you the basic recipe for this. Really, really simple. We're going to start, we preheated the oven to 400 degrees. We've already got that started. And I'm going to start off by taking this. This is a 9 by 13 Pyrex pan. We've got about six tablespoons of unsalted butter in here. And we're just going to put that into our pan, just like so, right? Now, this is going into the oven to melt the butter and get the pan nice and hot. So just pop that in your oven. And let that melt while you assemble the batter, which is really, really quick. So let's start with the dry ingredients. Again, just a little bit of all-purpose flour, only about a half a cup. And then we're going to add a little bit of sugar some fine salt, iodized sea salt, either one, whatever you'd prefer. Got a little bit of baking powder. So once you have that, you can see how quickly this is gonna to go together. We're just gonna to stir that together so it's combined nicely. So this is where if you wanted to add chili powder or something else, you know, to give it a little more flavor, this is when you'd go for it, right? Why don't we just give it a quick grind of black pepper 
So we'll just put a quick grind of black pepper in there as well. Just give it a little extra flavor boost. So once that's blended, go ahead and stir in your cornmeal. Right? Okay, can I ask a question? When you of say you can. good quality, is there a brand or something you prefer we get for this? There really isn't a brand. You just want to find the stone ground variety. It's going to have a little more of the germ. It's going to have a little more texture to it. What you want to avoid is don't put like corn grits in there, polenta, something like that. That's not going to cook the same way. Um, but just find a good quality cornmeal. And in a pinch, if you can't even find that, then just whatever you can find at the supermarket, it's going to work fine. The texture will just be a little finer um, if you find, you know, just a slightly less. This is something I grind. like so much that I, yeah, okay. All right, so now it's <laughs> blended. See how nicely it's blended. Now we're going to add a finely diced jalapeno pepper. And again, this is completely up to you. If you don't want to make it spicy, again, you could add some, some diced bell pepper at this point. You could add some you know, a little bit of diced onion. This is when you might add some, some defrosted frozen corn kernels or in summertime, you can obviously use fresh corn kernels. Um, this would also be the, the stage where if you were gonna add some cooked meat, make sure the meat's cooked. Don't put raw meat in here, but cooked off some meat, brown it, drain it really well, and then mix a little bit of that into this dry mix, just like that, All right? So now we have our dry mix set to go. Let's do the, the wet part of this. So we've got a couple of whole eggs. I thought he was gonna crack them both together and do a show. No, we, we, need, to, we need to get Ben up on his party trip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, so now just beat those a little bit, just like that. So, and now we've got buttermilk, right? So two couple cups of buttermilk. All right, so there's the buttermilk in there. Just give that a quick blend. Is your butter burning in the oven? I'm oh. asking. Melting. No, it's not quite, it's just about melted. I mean, the timing oh. is gonna be absolutely perfect. It's like oh, I planned okay. it or something. Okay, I was just something. getting nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so here's our long. grated cheddar cheese. Um, whatever shredded cheese you like. I like, you know, a sharp cheddar, but you could add you know, some pepper jack, or if you have a, a different favorite shredded cheese, you can put it in there, something a little more mild. That's completely up to you, all right? So just stir that in just a little bit. Now, we're gonna mix the wet onto the dry. And well, all you're gonna so do is- This is so simple, we could make it. I this know, is, I think we could do this. This is just such an easy <laughs> recipe to if make. If I could only get to the right? store. <laughs> now, all, now you just need to fold it together. Just stir it together so it's moistened. You don't really need to uh, beat it or blend it. It'll just make sure everything is well incorporated and nice and moist. Right? Just like that. So there you can see. Now we've got everything just like so. All right? So yeah. butter, like I said, butter is nicely melted. So let's pull that out of the oven. So you can see in the... Just melted the butter beautifully, like just the way we want. So you're... now we're gonna pour, pour this into the baking dish. Oh, this is amazing. I know. This is super easy, right? I mean, this is why you can, you know, you can throw this together literally the active time here. What is it like maybe five, maybe six minutes. And then it only takes about 30 minutes to bake. So now, Here's where it gets decadent. We've got a cup of heavy cream, oh, right, right here. Just put <laughs> the cream and pour it. You can make designs. You could write your name in the top, whatever you like. But just please kind of, don't write calories. Right. Yeah. Just <laughs> swirl it in there. Right. Don't mix it. Just okay. pour it on top, just like that. You're really just pouring. It. Yeah, You're just you literally guys, pouring it on top. And if you can. Back turn up, you notice, but it's just starting to bake a little bit from the heat of the pan and it's already starting to set that little bit of the crust. Oh. So now we're going to pop it back into that oven. So you'll bake it for 30 to 35 minutes until it's just golden brown. It'll depend on your oven how long it'll bake. But a little bit um, brown on top is perfect. What you want to try to avoid is over baking it as with any cornbread, right? If you over bake it, it's going to start to dry out, right? So once it just springs back lightly to the touch, 
take it out of the oven, right? You use a toothpick in, to go into you it. Don't even, don't even use your toothpick. Just use your fingertip and touch the top. And if it just bounces back really quick, you're good to go, right? But okay. better to underbake it than overbake it. Okay. Right? That's the trick. It's better to pull it out early than pull it out too late. So I've got one that I made here a little earlier. I mean, this doesn't even take mixers or a bunch of dishes. I know. No, no. It's really so simple, right? I think but you we just, really just, could do this one. I know I could do it if I had somebody to go to the store for me. <laughs> My son won't let me go to the store. <laughs> so this is why we call it spoon bread, right? Okay, you can just that was literally fun. just take it and scoop it out. So, so if you nice cut it, moist. it would be square bread? Well, if you want to make it, you can cut it in squares, but I think it's much more fun to just scoop it out with a spoon, right? That way, like let's say you were having a nice bowl of chili, you could put a yeah. little scoop of this mm. in a bowl and pour the chili around it, right? You could do it like that. Um, you could make a nice- Oh, does that look good? You, make a nice, uh, you could make a nice chicken stew or a pork stew or even a beef stew and pour it over top of this and have it kind of as your base. Um, Would it be okay like just to eat the whole pan of corn? But you can just eat the pan by itself, that's right. That's that right. would be a perfect dinner. Oh, right? does so, that look uh, How simple is that? You can see how quick it is to stir it together. So, you know, in this time, we've come through the holidays. It's been hectic. We've done all those right, crazy preparations. Now we want to do something simple, right? Just to make a nice weekday meal. You can put this together. You can see really quickly. And then you have a, a lovely side dish to go along okay. with whatever you're making. Does it stay for a couple of days in the refrigerator if you yeah. needed it to? About two or three days covered in the refrigerator. You know, and then just warm it gently. Okay. Don't, you know, I mean, that's going to be, if you want to warm it too, you could put it into a little dish and pour a little milk or cream around it and heat it up with that. You know, even if oh, you, yeah, need, you need a little more cream. Than that. But, <laughs> you need a little more. You absolutely do. Come on. You got to have some left over from, from Christmas or something like that. There has to be some left in the fridge. <laughs> I'm ready to have it. it that right, looks so, can, so perfect. And so easy to do. So easy to make. So it's just another choice for a side dish, you know. Um, just give you another choice to, to do something. Um, what a great yeah. way to start the new year. Yeah. yeah. And it's got like the great base and you can mix it. I mean, you could adjust yeah. so many things so easily in there and make it so many hey, different things. Lynn, oh, yeah. This is yeah. perfect for you and me. I know. Oh, it really is. Right now, all I do is I want some. But, <laughs> oh, you lucky people, I go hope that you go and make it soon. And to all of you, we want to thank you for looking in on us, viewing us, and all that good stuff. Remember, it's stircrazyinthekitchen.com. Like and su subscribe. You can get the recipes every week. Thanks, Lynn, for getting them up. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Lynn, for writing them. And to all of you, I'm going to go cook. We'll see you. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Much Thanks. love. Have a great day, Abby. Thank you. Oh, is that good? Talk soon.